it's okay. Your first field assignment, it definitely can be scary. You're doing the same thing you do at the office. Gather information, okay? Now, Tracy here's gonna get you wired up. Here you go. What the heck is that? It's an encrypted Bluetooth transceiver. It gets inserted into the ear canal and transmits via this cell phone. So it's small, you're gonna be able to get it back out? Yeah, 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 hum a few bars for me. Say what? Yeah, I can hear you. Hank, you all right? I am not the right guy for this. You are the perfect guy for this. No one knows this woman like you do. Besides, you, you've gotten into her head. You've, you've mesmerized no, her. No, no, no. Okay. A fictional character named Tristan Buchanan is the one who has mesmerized her. Well, then be Tristan Buchanan. I don't look like him. Since when does anyone look like the pictures they post online? Besides, you're close enough. Now listen. All we need is this face-to-face -to, -face to lower her guard and gather the last bit of information that we need. That's it. What last piece of information? We know that her and Oren Zahiri had a working relationship, right? What we need to know if she knows anything about a project called Archipelago. Archipelago? Zahiri has weapons caches all across the Virgin Islands, right? Okay. He sold all those under a code-named project, Archipelago. We need to know if she knows anything about that project. If she so much as says the word, she'll need to be dispatched. Dispatched? What, what is dispatched? Eliminated. That's right. You like her. It doesn't matter that I like her. That's all that matters, Hank. You can't like her. You can't develop attachments. Listen, people are either an asset or a liability. Tonight, you figure out which one she is. I decide she's not an asset for us. You're gonna have her dispatched! That is not your concern. Tonight, you play a part. Gather information, Hank. That's all you do. Okay. I'm tapped into the security cameras. You are going to do fantastic. You can do this, okay? You've got this. Now take center table and go give him hell, tiger. Take the center table. I'm nervous. You should be. You're on a first date. That'll put you perfectly in the character. She's here. I'm Tristan. You don't look like your pictures, Tristan. No, no, I, you know, wanted to put my best foot forward, so I used pictures that were a few years old. I might have changed a bit since then. But I still have an embarrassing birthmark in the same place, I promise. No, you want to verify this with me. I believe you. I'll, I'll sit. Thank you. Okay, meeting in person, this is, um... Yeah, kinda um, strange. Yes, and you're actually prettier than your online picture, which I'm finding both intimidating and cool. Um, hi. Can I get for you, too? I would love some coffee, please. Uh, yeah, um, that sounds good, me too, please. Cream and sugar? No, thank you. Yes, please. Um, so, anyway, this is kind of a nice place, isn't it? I've never actually been here before. Never? No? Why well, do you find that odd somehow? Well, I mean, I just figured you'd pick a familiar place, you know, make 
some things feel more comfortable. I'm comfortable. Well, it's not like we're having long, awkward pauses or anything. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, have you met any other guys on this particular dating site? Nope. You're the first. I'm the first. That must be kind of scary then. Um, yeah, I mean, but you can only get to know a person so well online, you know? No, that is not true. I feel I know you very well because you have a writing style which is very open. I have chatted online with several women and the conversations often seem rather superficial, surfacy, but you, you intrigue me. You're stalling. Ask her about work. You got a little mystery to you. What do you mean? For example, what do you actually do? I, you've never really talked about it. Well, I told you I'm, I'm a government contractor. Come on, that's like telling me I have a consulting business. You could not be more vague. What, is, what does that mean? I'm not supposed to talk about it. There's coding involved, okay. But I was just like an assistant. I didn't like write any like secret code or anything. <laughs> Wouldn't know how to read if I saw it. I was just an assistant, so you're not now. You have a new job? Well, I'm in the market for a new one. <laughs> Need an assistant? You don't work there anymore, but you still can't talk about it? I mean, come on, that's challenging. I mean, no, work stays at work. What can you hint? Did you write codes for amphibious assault vehicles or something? Hey, you keep on asking me these questions. I'm going to think you're a spy. Come on, a spy? Uh, I didn't realize this was big level stuff or anything. Well, give me some credit. We weren't programming microwave ovens. Fair enough. There was this one civilian project. It was just a gaming app, but it was really cute. Uh, they told me that it would teach kids mathematics skills, and it was all centered around this map of islands. The kids could navigate through. It had a really unique name. What was it called? Oh, that's right. Archipelago? You mean archipelago? Yeah, that's it. Are you okay? I'm great. I've never heard of that before in my life. Okay, that's a positive confirmation. Activate the dispatcher. That is a go. Anyways, they, uh, they fired me before it was completed. I don't even know if it was, uh, it was finished. They let you go? Well, yeah, fired, but they said, we're letting you go. <laughs> that was about Wait. three weeks ago? Is that why there was that period of time when you were not coming online and chatting with me? Yeah, I was a little upset. Didn't feel like talking. You did good. Now excuse yourself and get out of there. So you're telling me you never even saw the Archipelago app, right? Not really, but I mean, there was this one time I saw it on the screen and I leaned in real close to get a good look and I got quickly reprimanded. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to ask about company projects, but I, I just thought this one would be different. It's time for you to leave, Hank. You've done your part here. Now, tell her you need to use the restroom and leave. And that's why they fired you. I thought about it. But then I drove past the office a couple of days ago. Totally vacant. I mean, they just up and left. Okay, so you don't actually know anything about this business's operations, right? No. 
You've done your job. Now let us do ours. Report back immediately. This does not make any sense. <laughs> Tell me about it. I mean, <laughs> I wish they would just would have been straightforward with me. You know, just instead of firing me the way they did. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes guys in charge have this unnecessary urge to tie up loose ends. This is not time for a personal crusade. Your judgment is cloudy. It's not right. It happens. I will find work elsewhere. Hank, I will not be held responsible for what happens to you if you stay there. Get out now. So, um, you told me you sold life insurance? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's ironic. <laughs> oh. I'm just thinking out loud. You know, I don't think I'm going to be working at my job much longer either. This is going to suck. Vanessa, get out of here! What is going on? Vanessa, run! I'm not leaving! Ah, hi. Oh, sh shucks. Look, I'm so. Oh, fuck! Hi! kill you, Tristan. But then again, you're not Tristan, are you? Name? Hank, 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 I'm, I'm Hank. You're adorable, Hank. You know, 
We've been looking for your dispatcher for quite a long time. Thank you for helping us bring her out of hiding. Freeze, Graves! Drop the weapon! Oh, oh, no. oh. Oh, oh, no. oh. Oh. Is that everyone? Severin? Let this one go. He is in way over his head. Besides, I kind of like him.